Today in the bunker, we're going to make concrete texture for our terrain tiles. Our previous episode, we used these EVA foam mats to make some terrain tiles for the underhive. What I've done is taken a couple of them and made sort of a roadway. So let's look at how we can do that. The first thing I've done is cut out a square 12 inches by 12 inches and you can cut them out to whatever size you need them to be. Uh, for the concrete, what I'm doing is every three inches uh, going both directions, I'm making a, an expansion joint basically to give the impression that these are poured concrete panels. And that's entirely optional. You could just do this whole thing as one piece, but I kind of like the impression that it gives because it, it sort of serves to sell the idea that, you know, it's concrete and it's not just a, a huge panel of rock or something. And you could use this same technique to make stone. Um, we'll, we'll cover that a little bit later in the video. So what we're going to do, and I've already done a couple of them, I just every three inches I, I laid out where we're going to have our expansion joint and I just take a sharp craft knife or hobby knife, whatever, and just score that lightly. You don't have to cut into it very deep at all. Just so when we in later steps when we apply some heat to this that'll make that open up a little bit and be much more well defined. Alright so we're gonna finish cutting those and then we'll get ready to texture that. Alright we've got our grid laid out we've cut that every three inches both directions and when we apply some heat to that when we put the texture on that'll open those up nicely. I should also note at this point if you wanted to add like cracks and whatnot this would be a good time to lightly score them in because then it will open them up when we apply some heat. I've gone ahead and added a few cracks over this just to see how that works. So let's get set up to add some texture. What we're going to use is some tin foil and a regular iron. So let's get that set up and we'll be right back. We're going to use a piece of tin foil that we've crumpled up and then flattened out again. I use this particular piece on the previous road bits. So just crumple that up, flatten it out, get your iron heated up pretty well, and just lay this down wherever you want there to be some texture. So we're just going to pick a spot down here and just lay that on there, press it in. And as you can see, you can hold this up maybe so maybe you can see, that gives a, it seals the surface of the foam and it gives it a very subtle texture. You can crumple the foam up, or the, the foil up a bit so that it's sharper and press it harder down in there to get more of a texture. I may do that, that's just a little too subtle. But in any case, we're going to do the rest of this and uh, get ready to get that ready to paint. The great thing about this technique is if you end up with spots that are smoother than you want, uh, even after you've done this once or twice, you can still go back and press that foil down in there. So you can make this as textured or as smooth as you need. Uh, the cracks did open up nicely. Just anything that you've scored will open up. So we're going to put a sealer coat on this of Mod Podge and black paint. This isn't really intended to flex much, so that'll be good. We're not, it's not going to get crumpled into a ball or something, so that's fine. It'll give us good flexibility and still seal this well and give good tooth for the paint to adhere to. So let's get that set up and we'll get started. One of the things that you'll note about Mod Podge is it does show brush strokes. So we're going to use a technique that will mitigate that, which works especially well for concrete. So we'll go ahead and apply a thin layer using a sponge brush. 
You could use a regular brush at this point. That would be fine too. The sponge is a little more convenient. Make it nice and even. And we'll take a little bit and we'll just stipple that on. And just give it a rough sort of texture. Most of that will smooth out as it dries. So you're not really undoing anything that you've done with the foil and the iron. That'll still be there because it's deeper. But this just, it basically mitigates all your brush strokes. All right, so we'll cover the rest of that and we'll get ready to prime it. It's probably easier and better once you apply it with your brush, get a good coat on there and then take a regular piece of sponge and go over that and that'll give you a much more sort of even texture. I've given this a good priming with uh, gray spray paint. You could totally use a brush on gray paint and that would be fine. Uh, I did a little bit of Zenithal highlighting in the center of each tile. Again, totally optional. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. We're going to put a dark wash on this to try to bring out some of the underlying texture. And what I'll be using is just a black wash that I made. It's uh, half and half future floor polish and water. And then I just add some black paint to that. And you can kind of mix that to taste. And we're just going to apply a good coat of that. And that'll especially help to accentuate those expansion joints. And if it gets on too heavy in one place, just move it to another. Alright, so we'll finish that up and go on to the next step. One thing it could use is a shot of matte varnish, but it is too cold and wet out today to spray that, so I'm going to leave this as it is for now. Once it warms up a bit um, in the coming weeks, then I will go ahead and, and give that a shot just to kind of tone down the shine a little bit. And once this is kind of a dead flat, then it'll, uh, it'll really look more like concrete. So hopefully that is useful to you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, this is a, another really, really cheap, hashtag really, really cheap project to do. Uh, the base materials are fairly inexpensive. There's nothing fancy here that you need to use. Uh, pretty much everybody has access to the things that I've used in this project. So hopefully that helps, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.